All right guys, so a lot of people know that I'm like super Senko heavy and everybody keeps saying that Big Bite Baits or, or the Yumdinger or whatever they are. I've honest to God never even bought a sack of these in years. I've, I've... So I'm, I'm gonna be very unbiased when I do this though. You guys all know I don't get paid by any of these companies. For one, Yamamoto, Gary, Mr. Gary Yamamoto does not need to pay anybody to sell his baits. But these are brand new bags. We're gonna be doing a comparison. Underwater footage. Like I, I couldn't even, I could tell you right off the bat. So this is a $2.99 trick stick and this is a Yamamoto Senko. You can clearly already tell the difference in the bait. Like, look, look at this. Senko, trick stick. Like, and the thing is, is this Senko, it's just, I'm gonna let it speak for itself. We're gonna start off with the big bite baits. It's a five inch versus a five inch. It, it has like a, a different smell that I'm not really used to, I guess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rig this thing up, straight up. Just whitelist, Texas rigged, boom, already done. It's gonna be Big Bite Baits, Texas rigged, and then Sanko, and then we're gonna go to Wacky Rigged, Big Bite Baits, and then Wacky Rigged Sanko. So let's go outside. All right, so I got the uh, little trick stick here by Big Bite Baits. I got it all wrapped on my... So we're just gonna cast each one out a couple times, and that's pretty much it. So the descent rate on the trick stick Seems kind of, uh, seems a lot slower than, than the Senko. Now one thing I think I see automatically is, I don't believe it wobbles like the Senko does, but I could be wrong. I mean, we're about to find out all together when we look at the underwater footage, but I don't believe it does. I'll pitch it out there one more time. Okay, this one should be directly in front of the camera. It is. It's really slow, and I think it's slower than the Senko. I don't really know, but it is slow, which is which is a good thing. It sinks, but I don't believe it has the same wobbling effect as the Senko does. I just I just think it just falls straight down. I'm gonna go grab a Senko. I'm gonna put it on, and we'll see what the real difference is. All right, got the Senko. Remember, these are both black and blue, five inches. I'm gonna throw it out right now. I can already tell you right now that the Senko is a bit more soft than that trick stick. All right, yep. So there is the wobbling effect that I'm talking about right there. You see that thing wobble all the way down. Pretty positive, Every, everybody that's been on my channel for a while knows I'm an avid Senko user but there's a very big reason why I buy Senkos over everything else. Do you see the wobbling effect right there? Look at this. We're just gonna let this thing fall right in front of the camera. Look at the wobbling on it. Now, I'm only looking at them from above. Usually when I see them on camera, they're like a trillion times more, just look a lot crazier on camera. Here's last time with the Senko. I do the same thing as the Senko. It's falling right now, but I mean that Senko, it like goes all the way down, does little, little Senko things. Twitch it a couple times like I normally would. Just let it fall, do its thing. Who knows, with the trick stick, the wacky rig could look a lot better. You know, I, I'm sounding like I'm really biased towards the Senko, but I'm telling you right now, I'm being fair and impartial when doing this. That is a part of a creed that I once used to have to live by and don't anymore, but I will still, nah, kind of do it. I'm gonna go tie this thing on. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so right off the bat, we got it the Big Bite Baits trick stick, and we're about to throw this thing wacky set up. Okay, you know, I mean, it looks good wacky rigs, as long as you just kind of, I mean, look, if you just kind of pop it, it looks, it looks good, look at that, it looks pretty good. Hmm, that looks good. See, doesn't look bad. Throw it one more time in front of this camera and I'll grab the Senko. The only thing that I really don't like about this trick stick is it's, it, I think if you had any wind or anything like that, I don't think you'd be able to use it very well because it's so, so light and doesn't sink very well. But I mean, on when it's wacky rig like this, it does look pretty good. Look, I'll bring it up over this camera right now. Like it, it just has a very, very, very slow descent rate, like very slow. And that's with a little tiny weight on it too, on that wacky rig setup. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the uh, Senko and I'll be right back. All right, so I got the Senko. Usually with these Senkos, they got like a, a little egg sack. 
I kind of just put it right on the very edge of that egg sac. So I got kind of, it's almost even, but you got one in that's kind of tilted, you know? Makes it just a little bit more action, I think. You know, it's all per personal preference when it comes to fishing. Okay, I'm gonna flip it out here and uh, see what we can do. Okay, so I can tell you right now, I mean, even, even wacky rig setup, the Senko still has that, the Senko effect when it, it kind of wobbles on the way down. The little two appendages on the end. Flip it out in front of this camera once again. That's, that's the Senko falling on its own. And then once it hits the bottom, I'll kind of twitch it up. I think the descent rate is at least almost two times faster than the, than the trick stick. But the Senko, like, like I said, it, I mean, everybody knows it's, it's made to be thrown weightless. So it's gonna sink differently than everything else. I'm gonna put it up and over this other camera and see if you guys can kind of tell the difference. It's gonna kind of like let it suspend down and see how it wobbles. This looks really good. Now I'll flip it in front of this other camera real quick. And that'll probably be the last time I do this. Then we'll go in and talk about them for a second. Look at that thing just suspend. I mean, the two appendages on the end of that Senko, they just go pop, 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 all the way down. So just, I know my sound effects kind of, they sound pretty good, don't they? I really like this camera, so I'm gonna kind of swim it over the top of this camera, because this camera is actually laying on the bottom of the pool looking up. It's pretty good. All right guys, I'm gonna pick up these cameras and I'm gonna head inside and uh, we'll talk real quick on the Senko and the density of both of these and uh, end the video from there. See you guys here in a second. Okay, as you guys just saw, we just watched the, uh, the underwater footage of both of these these baits, so I'm I'm still gonna stick with my uh, my guns here. Sankos all the way for right now. You know they might get topped by maybe we might do a yum dinger next week or something like that. But the big thing I see between these two baits, I mean their color is pretty much the same. I don't really think too much into the color, but let me pull two out real quick. The Sanko is about a trillion times squishier. This thing's really like hard, and I don't know if it's just it, I I'm gonna make the assumption it's the the plastic they use, the kind of plastic. And on the Big Bite Baits one, a lot of the salt's actually outside of the... I wonder if the salt is not in the plastic. I know the Senko, the, the salt's actually mixed with the plastic. I wonder if it's mixed actually with the plastic. The Big Bite Baits, so I wonder if they just kind of roll it in a big pile of salt. You know what? I bet you I know how we can find out. I know for a fact that when I, I'm using a Senko and I bite the head off, I look down in there and there's tons of salt. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> it's just full of salt. Let's do it to this. That's it right there. Boom, we just solved it. I'm mind blown. Okay. Wow, I can't believe this. So, hmm. So a lot of people wonder why is it worth paying extra money for a Senko? The quality of the baits right here, I'm telling you right now, just by cutting it in half, go cut one in half. Don't let me be the guy that shows you. The inside of a big guy bait says you just saw why it just didn't sink correctly or like it didn't sink like a Senko. It's just a piece of plastic that's been rolled in salt. The Senko, the salt's actually mixed with the plastic. Like, if I do this, my hand is covered in salt right now. Like, it looks like crystals. If I do this to the, I can do this all day with that and there's nothing, there's nothing coming off of there. It actually feels kind of oily. Oh, okay, enough for that rant. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not. And leave a comment, maybe tell me what you guys thought. If you're gonna stick with the Big Bite Baits or if maybe you'll come on board with me and the rest of America and buy a bag of Senkos. Till then, see you guys next time.